Paws and Claws by Arlene Block. Paws and Claws Animals use their paws and claws to do many different things. Paws and claws are amazing. Walking quietly. A tiger has soft, padded paws. The paws are good for walking quietly. They help a tiger hunt. A tiger has long, sharp claws. The claws stay hidden in the toes until the tiger needs them. Running on ice. A polar bear has very big, soft paws. The paws are good for running on ice. They help a polar bear walk on snow, too. The polar bear's paws are huge and covered with thick fur. The fur helps it run on slippery ice. Holding food. Boys and girls, did you notice that at the top of each new page, it tells us what the paws and claws are good for? Let's pay attention to that as we read the rest of this book. Holding food. A raccoon uses its paws like hands. The paws are good for holding food. They help a raccoon pick up nuts and berries. A raccoon has a great sense of touch. The raccoon can pick up and hold small things. Climbing trees. A koala has sharp claws. The claws are good for climbing trees. They help a koala hold on tight. A koala has two thumbs on each front paw. The thumbs help it climb and eat leaves. Digging holes. A woodchuck has long curved claws. The claws are good for digging holes. They help a woodchuck dig a home in the ground. A woodchuck's home is called a burrow. A burrow is a long tunnel with little rooms. Here is a diagram of a burrow. Hanging on. A bat has strong hooked claws. The claws are good for hanging on. They help a bat hold on to a tree branch. A bat's claws stay closed tight when relaxed. Its claws help it hang on to things even when it sleeps. Paws and claws are good for lots of things. Paws and claws leave different tracks too. Which animal left these tracks? Hints, this is a koala pattern track. This is a tiger pattern track. And this is a raccoon pattern track. I hope you enjoyed this story. Author's note, Sometimes I see animals in my backyard, and I like watching how they use their paws and claws. In winter, I can see animal tracks in the snow. It's fun to guess which animals made the tracks. Arlene Block